Welcome back. This deck is named after the eponymous level 6 fusion monster released in the Lost Millennium, Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. His effect reads that by discarding one card, we get to destroy any monster on the field with a lower base attack value than Thunder Giant's current attack stat. And playing by equipping Thunder Giant with, for instance, Fusion Weapon, we can destroy any monster card with a base attack value of 3900 or less. That means, except for maybe a random Master of Oz, Thunder Giant plus Fusion Weapon can dispose any monster that is accessible in gold format. Thunder Giant can only be summoned by proper Fusion Sun, which excludes Metamorphosis shenanigans. Therefore, I maxed out on his fusion materials. That is by playing triple Elemental Hero Sparkman and three copies of Elemental Hero Clayman. A single copy of Elemental Hero Bustinatrix is included in here to fusion some Elemental Hero Flame Weakman, who, whenever destroying a hostile monster, deals extra effect damage to the opponent's life points, equal to the destroyed monster's attack value. All in total 7 vanilla E-heroes are accessible via reinforcement of the army and via hero signal. Whenever one of our monsters is destroyed in battle, hero signal special summons one E-hero from hand or deck. A tremendous consistency boost is obtained with fusion material substitutes, such as the Earth Hexed Fusion, or in our case, even simpler accessible, Mystical Sheep Number 1. Since it is a level 3 beast type, we can float into two copies of itself straight from our deck by tributing one Rescue Cat. Meaning with two E-Heroes in hand or on the field, plus one Rescue Cat, we may turbo out up to two Thunder Giants in one turn, by simply banishing the fusion materials with Fusion Gate. Rescue Cat and all of the fusion substitutes included in this build can moreover be floated into with Giant Red. This also holds true for the Earth Attribute Clayman, and the occasional used spot removal monster Exiled Force. Sengen boosts the consistency of this deck even further. I maxed out on Fusion Gates and Terraforming to search it, and completely refrained from implementing the usual polymerization plus King of the Swamp core. This implies we can mass fusion summon our E-Hero fusion monsters and then bring back the fusion materials from the banished pile and conduct fusion summons once more by paying half of our life points with return from the different dimension. Next up is the earlier mentioned fusion weapon that can be equipped onto both Flame Wingman and Thunder Giant respectively raising the attack and defense value by a staggering 1500 points. Sinister Serpent is a must-have in this build, as it enables us to use Thunder Giant's discard effect turn after turn. Then I play one Heavy Storm, one Mystical Space Typhoon, one Snatch Steel, the Trinity, Pot of Creed, Craze for Charity, and the Liquid Duel. And for stable traps, I play Ring of Destruction and Mirror Force. As our Fusion E Hero boss monsters cannot be revived from our grave, I decided to not include the typical revival cards such as Premature Burial or Court of the Haunted. That's it for the stack profile. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, your Retro Expert signing out.